afternoon folks, uh, it's just gone quarter past five, uh, it's Tuesday afternoon and uh, we're kicking off a brand new campaign on a brand new water with myself Matt and uh, myself Mark. Yeah, you've uh, no doubt seen Mark on uh, some of the blogs before, certainly last year when he was hauling in France. Yeah, and we had a few uh, last year at the syndicate we joined as well. Yes we did mate, uh, but we're on a brand new water mate. Yep. And uh, before we get things up and running and uh, properly kicked off, uh, for the purpose of this blog we're unable to show the water. Uh, there is a publicity ban, but we've been given permission to do blogs like this, uh, which we're going to call the Broly Blog. Uh, we're going to talk about tactics and baits, uh, conditions, because uh, my mate here is a bit of a weather fanatic. Yeah, it's not the best of um, days today. It's There's not, is it, mate? Still a bit of snow up on the top of the hills, and uh, for the time of the year, very cold. I think we're on about the 8th or 9th of August. Um, August. <laughs> I wish April. it was. <laughs> yeah, and uh, yeah, it's... We've got a bitterly north wind again, so we've just been speaking to a couple of chaps who have just packed up and um, been the only two on the on the lake and they've had one fish at £26 um, last night, so they've had nothing during the day at all, but um, we're still hopeful, you never know. Yeah, when, when arriving at the lake, which was about an hour ago now, we've, uh, like you do, tacking up and getting one, uh, one eye on the water, we did actually mm. see a fish move, didn't we? Yeah, he had and shouldered out, so... The odd one's moving around. It's encouraging, mate, isn't it? There is it noise. Is. Yeah. Um, but going the lake, it's, uh, well, obviously it's brand new to us, so we've got to try and work the puzzle out for ourselves, but it's a uh, silty lake, isn't it, mate? Yeah, quite silty, yeah. But look, looking at the um, lead when we dropped them in the side sort of thing, so we'll have to try and master that one and go in. Yeah, we're, um, well, we've both got uh, snowman rigs on uh, two of our rods. I think, we're, actually, you've got them on three, haven't you? i got snowmen, yeah. I've got them all... Uh, on um, leg core leaders, actually, to try and combat the silt. Uh, and I've blasted out uh, a choddy uh, on my middle rod. As I say, it's only a short session this is, and that's going to be the majority of the sessions we do mm. on this water yeah. from around about lunchtime till dusk. Uh, so we'll be fishing right up till dusk tonight, which will be, be around about half past seven, eight o'clock ish at a push. Yeah, something uh, like that. And obviously, ages, yeah. as we get into uh, whenever it arrives, summer uh, <laughs> longer. So, uh, yeah. Just a brief insight to uh, what we're going to be doing and, uh, you know, hope you enjoy it. Um, unfortunately, once again, we can't show you the water. Uh, I'm just going to grab onto my rod before it <laughs> decides to fly off. Yeah. Uh, but um, we're going to try and do a bit and if, if we do get any captures, uh, we will be able to uh, post those on the blog. Uh, so we're going to leave it there at uh, 20 past five and come back to you with uh, an update and um, talking about baits and tactics and a bit more carpy chat. So uh, right, yeah. until now, catch you later. Okay. Alright folks, uh, it's just gone ten past six uh, and I thought I'd have a bit of an update uh, on the catch front, absolutely zilch. Uh, Mark's just to my left as I'm talking to you and looking at the water like a hawk, but um, nothing to report. So I just thought we'd take this opportunity to uh, run through some of the tactics that we're using today. Um, as you mentioned, uh, we're both using snowmans, Mark's got three snowmans on all of his rods. I'm using snowmans on my left and right hand out and in the middle I'm using the chod uh, and I'm just clipping on a little bag, nothing uh, that you haven't seen before, just splitting about three or four baits, um, nice little package of bait next to the up bait, plus it floods the, uh, the water with uh, extra flavour, so that's on the uh, snowmans and I'm fishing the, uh, the choddy uh, on a single up bait, which is uh, these, I uh, don't know if you can see them. Uh, 16 mil cherry bees, uh, which I rolled yesterday, white ones, and uh, just glugged them overnight to give them that little bit of uh, extra pulling power. And I'm going to respot that in a bit. Uh, there was a few lads on the water who were packed up, and I'm going to. We've actually got the the whole lake to ourselves now, so we're just going to. I'm going to use the water in front of me, and I'm going to put that a bit further out of range. I think. The um, snowman's. Uh, I'm using these, the uh, bottom bait, which is a 16 miller, and I'm using these cherry bees again, tippers. Uh, they're uh, 12 mil baits, and as you can see, yellow and white there. And I've got one different colour on each rod, so I haven't got all uh, eggs in one basket. And the bottom baits, uh, I think I showed you these on the uh, previous blog. And that's the uh, CM1. This is a new bait, it's on its second outing. I caught I think it was five fish on it on the last outing, which was on a heavily stocked uh, runs water. So I'm not really giving that one uh, 
in the uh, plus column for this bait because it was, uh, as I say, a heavily stocked water. This one's uh, got a few fish in it, but not as many, and they're a lot wiser. I've been told that they're quite pressured fish. So uh, if this one really kicks in, I'll be chuffed to bits. And uh, I've got a few different flavour combinations with this bait because uh, I'm trying to pinpoint one which I can use on the campaign this year and uh, hopefully uh, take it to France for me. So that's the CM1, uh, 16 mil. And there you go. Just a little bit of an insight at uh, quarter past six. So uh, just brewed the old kettle for the second brew of the session. So until the next update, catch you later folks. Welcome back folks. Uh, what we got on the time, five to eight. And uh, bleak. <laughs> it is a bit bleak, is that the word? Yeah, the wind's still um, blowing a hooligan down here and it's not been the best of um, carp fishing weather really. No it isn't mate. I mean, we had the conversation on the way down, didn't we, that we thought this is more of a recce trip and a night out than a... Try and suss it out a bit sort yeah. of thing. But um, as yet, I can safely say we haven't sussed it out. No, but you'd rather be here than watching EastEnders, because I know I would. Definitely, but um, <laughs> it's just a case of um, over the next few weeks, hopefully, um, trying to snatch a bite and starting to work the place out, really. Definitely, mate. I mean, uh, we had a, a chat off camera uh, over another cup of coffee, and did you say it was supposed to be highs of 17 over the weekend? Yep. I hope so, because I'm freezing. <laughs> and, well, um, hopefully it will be, because, uh, you know, trying to pick a few people's brains that we know are on here, mm. it's not a very deep water, so if the weatherman's correct this weekend, it won't take long for this place to warm, will it? Yeah, they're saying sort of possibly five foot deepest in anywhere on the lake, so soon warm up. Most of the lake only being sort of three, four foot, so... Yeah, hopefully by next week um, we might be able to see a few more. We have we have seen one stick his head out, but other than that, it's been um, very bland. Yeah, that was uh, literally first knockings when it when yeah, was tacking up, yeah. and uh, got us excited for nothing. By the yeah, way, that that one crashed at range, which was mm. way way out of where we were fishing. Yeah, definitely. But yeah. Uh, so, what would you say you've learnt then, if anything, on this short recce trip? Um, probably to put another coat in in, in the middle of April because it's um, <laughs> not very warm. Um, we've we've seen a few spots, but we've um, seen where the chap had the 26 from um, last night, due to where he was casting, obviously. Um, so we're starting to suss out possibly the areas where the fish hold. But um, so next week maybe um, we'll try another peg and see whether we can. Uh, get one there definitely mate definitely uh, well it's uh, as I say it's gone bang on five to eight now we're gonna fish till dusk uh, so 45 minutes maybe yeah 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 stretch it out so hopefully you never know but probably not I wouldn't say this <laughs> week I'm not very optimistic but who well, knows well we're doing this little bit of footage now because it's uh, well it's reasonable light and then obviously it's gonna get dark so if anything does happen in the meantime um, catch wise we'll do our best to get it on camera uh, but if it doesn't, uh, we'll catch you next week. And I hope you've uh, enjoyed this first instalment of uh, the Broly uh, blog from myself, Matt and Mark. Yep. Good evening. Catch you next week. <laughs> well then, folks, uh, I did mention before, if there's any action, I'll try and get it on camera. Uh, Apologise, it's not the best quality because it's just approaching 25 to 9. And uh, you can just about see Mark there. He's done it. He's had his first fish on the new water. And uh, what a take it was, mate. It absolutely pulled the rod off the rest, off the buzz bar. And absolutely, the condition between a day ticket water and a syndicate fish, yeah. that is absolutely... I'm just going to... The mouth, and the, there is not a mark on this fish. It is absolutely stunning. Probably only six, seven pound, but it's absolutely mint. And that's the difference. And that's why we love Syndicate Lakes. Well, congratulations, mate. I mean, to be honest, being truthful, neither of us thought it was going to happen tonight, did we? No. Certainly on the first recce session, anyway. I'd pack most of my stuff up. Yeah. So, but I'm so chuffed with that one. It's beautiful. Well, really? uh, once again, apologise uh, apologies for the quality of the uh, the footage here, because, uh, as Mark just said, we was on the verge of packing up. But... Um, yeah. You've nailed one and it's uh, saved the blank and it's got you off the mark, so uh, congr congratulations, uh, mate. New water. Yeah. First fish is always the, always the well, I'd say the best one, but um, it's 
it's a confidence booster, let's say. Fantastic. Well, I'm going to try and get a, a decent still for you and incorporate it in this blog. Yeah. And uh, there we go. What a way to uh, wrap up the first uh, session. And I've just had a bleep, mate. You never know. Maybe they're coming down. <laughs> you never know. Thank you.